Would you agree to publication? Yes. I don't see anything wrong here. Name? Bolshakov Nikolai Olegovich. Nikolai Olegovich, they gave me five years. Yes. What is your date of birth? March 3rd, 90. Where are you from? From Dnieper. From Dnieper? Yes. Yeah. What have you done? Why were you convicted? They convicted me for the fact of removing military infrastructure that was located on Panakaka Street, which was not there. There were civilians there, the working class, and epicenter, Varus, and Terra. They thought it was a military facility there. This is Article 114, Part 2 Espionage. I don't want to take and read your verdict now. Yes. Is there nothing else written there? What information did you pass on and to whom? I passed on information to a blogger from the Tumen region, his name is Petya I and he is popular on YouTube. I talked with him and told him about the situation that had developed in Ukraine. What actually deceives people about where alcohol and drinks go? On our street, Panikahi, soldiers were seen in a state of intoxication. Is he talking about problems in Ukraine? Yes. Tell me. Please. Why does Pete the First from Russia need Ukraine's problems? I guess it's because he cares about what's going on. He does not say anything illegal, does not agitate anyone and says that people should fight for their rights. It simply describes everything that actually happens. Does he sympathize with Ukraine? Yes, he didn't say anything bad. Is there a problem in Russia? As in every state, of course there is. But Petya the first lives in Russia, maybe he should have talked about the problems there? He talks about Russia too. I opened his channel and see only conversations about Ukraine. Here are five popular videos. One conversation about the United States and three about Ukraine. Do you think maybe Pete the first should have been more interested in the problems of Russia? Well, I think. Here is another video, all about Ukraine. Yes. Please tell me what bad did Ukraine do to Petya the first? Maybe she attacked him or missiles were flying at him. Maybe he has a serious psychological illness? He just explains everything that happens, doesn't say anything bad about the murders or anything else. He says what it really is. After all, the military is not paid money. How many appeals have I seen, and then these military men are punished? Repeat. About our Ukrainian military, who are not paid money, who are not given what they promised. There are soldiers from the Ukrainian armed forces who say this. I understand there are many problems. I'm trying to understand the logic, this man. In Russia these problems are even greater. Yes, there are many of them. Why doesn't he talk about the problems of the Russian conscripts, about the fact that people are forcibly sent to Ukraine to fight, where they don't want to go, where they die and don't understand the meaning of the war? The fact is that it was a year ago, before I was convicted. Why didn't Petya the first say anything a year ago? I'll find this video now, since we're talking about it. Here's the video. There aren't many of his published videos here. A year ago he said, your standard of living in America is low. It was a conversation with an American. Then there was the video, Polish Grievances of 39, published a year ago, Free Latvian Neighbor and Our American Brother, published 11 months ago. Yes. At that moment, Russian tanks were being burned near Kiev, yeah. Why do you think Petya I is not interested in the fact that 200,000 Russian troops entered Ukraine in several directions and were almost completely defeated? Why doesn't he talk about this? I can't say that.
Are you denying my words? Your words? How can I deny if I haven't seen anything and don't know anything? Have you seen Russian troops near Kiev? I know they were there and then they left. What? The troops left the area. Did they just leave? They are gone. Have you seen the burnt tanks? Honestly, no. If I had seen it, I would have told you. Why did they come? Did they just come to stand? I did not delve into the essence of what was happening there. They carried out some of their own military tasks. What is your name? Nikolai. Nikolai. Maybe you should delve more into what is happening in your country, and not listen to Petya from Russia? Why go into this? For example, given our standard of living, our crime rate has increased greatly and because of this, civilians are suffering and this is actually happening. What do you attribute this to? Crime has increased, there is a lot of theft and robbery now, and this is all reality. Name the numbers. I won't mention crime statistics. Here is your phone, there is Google and Wi-Fi, look for an increased number of crimes. I'll read your verdict for now. Bolshakov, implementing criminal intent, in the period from the 16th to the 22nd of April 2022, under unidentified circumstances, on the territory of the city of Dnieper, collected information on the location of military personnel of the National Guard of Ukraine, as well as the movement of the armed forces of Ukraine or other formations formed in accordance with the laws. What was your motive? The motive was this. Incorrect actions and crimes were committed on the part of Ukraine. Which? There were military equipment in civilian places. Did you find the statistics? No, I looked. We don't have time. Take your time. I have time for this. Maybe you should turn on VPN and some Russian site? No need. You don't notice the problems. I say everything is as it is. You can't force anything on me, I didn't mean to. I notice problems, but I also have an understanding of the cause and effect relationship, do you have it? What is the reason? What do you attribute this to? For example, children openly sell drugs. Russia has the same problem. We are now talking not about Russia, but about problems in Ukraine. No, we will talk about Russia as well. Do you know why? Because Russian missiles are flying at us, and you contact a Russian blogger and give him a video, citing the fact that we have problems. And missiles are flying towards us at the same time, do you understand the connection? What do you think? I don't know, to be honest. It's not funny, no, it's not funny. Civilians are dying from Russian missiles. These are very wrong and scary things. Here I completely agree with you. Which exit? Everything that happens is wrong. This needs to be prevented. How? The supreme government must influence this and prevent peaceful people from dying, because this is illegal and unnatural, this should not happen under any circumstances. You filmed the factory and sent this video to a pro-Russian blogger, do I understand you correctly? Yes. To my question, why did you do this? You said, because Ukrainians have a lot of problems. Tell us in more detail why you sent him this video. So he knows what's going on here. What? What kind of illegal activities are going on here? What exactly was shown in the video? I will read it. I just want to hear from you what exactly was captured on video. The video showed ordinary residential buildings and all the infrastructure. What's happened? There were military men there who behaved inappropriately with the people who lived there. How exactly did they behave? They were rude to people and did not allow them to go for a walk with their children because strangers were bothering them. It's just not clear how they could interfere with them. Did you film military personnel who communicated with people incorrectly? Yes. Did you record this and send it? Yes. What else? 
only this, and what actually happened. You have a lot of details, tell us about them all. What to talk about, what do you want to hear, what interests you most. I am interested in everything you conveyed. What kind of flash drives and phones are these, how did this happen? For what purpose do you need this? Something to learn for yourself? Look, people like you are unique. How? There are few people like you, you think very uniquely. These videos will remain for the future. During World War II it was not possible to record this. There was such an opportunity. It was impossible to shoot a two-hour video in good quality on a phone with a microphone. I agree here. You need to understand how you think. That's all. I understand. How does it happen that a person? Don't how old are you? 32. A person living in Ukraine, in a country that was attacked by Russia, where people and citizens are brutally killed, simply begins to sympathize with another country, that is, Russia. Why? Can I get ready? You first told me that you rented some kind of shopping center, and here I am reading the third page of your verdict. I asked you to honestly tell everything that you filmed, how you transferred it, recorded it on flash drives and encrypted it, because it's all written here. Yes. You tried to evade responsibility. You know this very well, what to prepare for? I don't know, maybe psychologically. Let's do some kind of psychological trick, breathe out, if I read, it won't be interesting. I understood, I'm just not ready, it's hard for me, actually. My name is Vladimir, I don't bite. Yes. We're just communicating, well, yes. What's so hard about this? You smile, everything is fine with you. It's clear, I don't know, somehow. Would you repeat these actions? No, that was stupid. What would you do? I would probably lead a normal life. With the desire. How many years did you get? Five. Five years. How long have you been sitting here? Year. Yes. Four left. That's not a lot. Do you want to be exchanged and go to Russia? To be honest, I would really like to. I want to see something new and learn something, perhaps understand something for myself. I'll be honest, I learned a lot here. I learned a lot of interesting things, I realized what was worth doing, and some development is underway. Every situation teaches me something. I'm learning something new for myself, in a good way. And this is the most important thing. Any other person will not understand me. I realized a lot of interesting things that need to be rethought. And to achieve something that I may not have been able to achieve before, to learn. You look at a person and think, I won't be like that, I'll be better. I would say that psychologically it helps a lot. I want to fix things that maybe I couldn't fix before. You are an optimist. I believe that you need to look at the situation positively. I will no longer make the mistakes I made before. I think this is correct. This quote needs to be written down separately. Why did you look at Ukraine exclusively from a negative point of view? You make the best of your situation. Yes, I see the best, right? Right. Why did you look at Ukraine from a negative perspective? I learned some interesting things for myself. I learned something new for myself. I didn't do anything wrong. It was from a good point of view, to fix something and become better. Do you have any idea how the penitentiary system works in Russia? Honestly? No. No? No. If you're interested and watch the footage, you'll see that people have had mops shoved up their anuses and much worse things have been done. These photos and videos are scary to watch. Yes. Tell me, are you being bullied here? Are you being bullied? No. Are you under physical or psychological pressure? No. Are you fed? Yes. 
You committed a crime against this country. This is what distinguishes a civilized country. Yes, you were assigned to a special squad so that no one would touch you. Because people here don't share your views, actually. But, you have the right to visit, is someone coming to see you? Yes. Who? Relatives. Mother? Dad? Yes. How do they feel about what you did? We don't discuss this topic. Do you keep in touch with your girlfriend? She has children, she is busy with work, she has no time for this. And I take care of myself. This is no longer relevant. Have you met her? During these periods, no. I know that everything is fine, thank God, that's the most important thing. Everything is fine. Have you communicated? Of course, I know that everything is fine, everything is fine and good. Yeah. What? Um... Tell me, how would you feel about the exchange? You will be sent to Russia. Do you have relatives there? No. Don't you have anyone there? What if after the exchange they give you a machine gun and tell you to go fight? I don't even know what to tell you. I won't take a machine gun, that's for sure, because I'm a religious person. Are you also a believer? Yes. Which direction do you belong to? Orthodox. Just Orthodox. This is our culture. I have a good attitude towards all religions. I belong to the Orthodox faith. Our church. Do you think killing people is bad? It is not right. I'm just trying to understand one thing. I agree with you. Although, there are many interesting nuances. Why didn't you understand that Russia is killing Ukrainians and this is bad and there is no need to support it? It was internal stupidity. I didn't fully understand this situation. I didn't understand the implications of all this and that it could get so bad. That this could lead to what is happening now. Something like this. It was a misunderstanding that got worse, a misunderstanding. I didn't expect negative consequences. I believed in the truth and thought that everything would change from the age of 14. I didn't think it could be that bad, it seemed impossible. You were at the conscious age of 14. I didn't delve into the events of the 14th year, to be honest. You were at a conscious age. In 1414, Russia entered Crimea, annexed Crimea. I do not know what to say. Can you say something about Donbass? There were so many circumstances that it's difficult for me to talk about it. I didn't notice anything like that. I didn't have time to pay attention to this. It's clear. I'm trying to understand your point of view. Everyone says different things. When there were actions on the maiden, how did you react to it? I don't follow the political sphere. People expressed what they wanted. That's all. Have you been to Europe? No. Didn't you go out? There was no interest or need yet, to be honest. I just asked. No, I didn't leave. You played PlayStation and made software. You lived a good life. You were fine. You were happy with everything. How long have you been following the blogger? Year. At 22? Third. 23? In 22, a year ago. It was mid-March, early April. When you signed up in March and started watching, did it hook you and make you realize that there are a lot of problems in Ukraine? Yes. Are the Ukrainian military bad? Yes. 
somehow it was like that. And do you understand that sometimes rude communication between the Ukrainian military and the civilian population may be necessary, because there is a war in the country? Yes. Do you understand that they are also defending our country from Russian aggression? Yes. Have you watched Ukrainian bloggers? Have you read the media or telegram channels? No. What bloggers did you even watch? Have you turned everything on on YouTube didn't you proofread anything? What other bloggers did you watch? No one else. Don't know. Why did you start watching this particular blogger? After all, I would not say that he is popular. He only has two dozen videos with over a million views. For the Russian audience, 368,000 subscribers is not a lot. Why he? Interested. Did you turn it on by accident or did someone send you the link? It immediately appeared on YouTube. What did you watch before? Before this, I watched videos about consoles, Sony PlayStation repairs and various programs. In Russian? Yes. And did you see the blogger? Yes, I saw his video. This is quite normal. This is how YouTube works. Do you have anything you would like to add? What should I add? I realized that you didn't have a goal for a rocket to fly there, you had a goal to give him content. Yes, I didn't mean anything bad. Yes, I understand this well. You fell in love with him and decided to help him with content. You had a correspondence in which he asked you about this, right? Yes. This does not cancel anything, because the fact of the location of the Ukrainian military, which you recorded, is a crime. We don't know for what purposes he used it, because there are no such videos on his channel. Perhaps there are still backup videos somewhere. Their concept is to choose the worst that Ukraine has and show it. In the same way, you can show how bad things are in Russia. The essence is the same. Yeah, there is a slight difference. The fact is that Russia attacked us, not we attacked them. We wouldn't show anything bad about them if they just lived in their own country and we lived in ours. Do you understand? Yes. This is informational stuffing, the usual one, which affects Russians who watch such things. They think, yes, yes, they are a mess there. We must throw missiles and bombs at them, they must be destroyed. That's what's going on there. I'll show you a video about Russia now, you'll get tired of watching it. I don't have the time or desire for this. You've got your time. I won't try to convince you of anything. With your permission, I would like to make an appeal to Russia. Before you do this, I want to clarify. We talked yesterday, yes. You have come today to make some kind of appeal. If I may, I am Nikolai Olegovich Bolshikov, convicted under Article 114, Part 2, and I ask the Russian side to take me for an exchange. Date of birth, March 3rd of 90. City, City of Dnipur. Term? 5. Do you want to exchange? I agree. N. Have you written about the exchange? I wrote a letter. Who did you write to? Putin? I recently wrote a letter, gave it to my manager, and he said that we are waiting for an answer. They handed over the documents and said that they were waiting for an answer. We make these recordings of interviews in order to put them on YouTube, so that the other side can watch them and take you for an exchange if they deem it necessary. Do you mind chatting? No. Do you agree to the publication of the video? Introduce yourself and where you are from. Kobizev Alexander Vasilyevich, February 16, 89, from Donetsk region, city of Bakhmut.
Why were you convicted? Article 114, Part 2, Dissemination of Information about the Locations and Movements of Armed Forces. When were you detained? The 17th of June 22. It was a year ago. What was the deadline? 5 and 2. A year has already passed, 4 remain. Yes. Do you have relatives in Russia? Yes. Who? Brother. Where does he live? In Mekiv. Please contact the other party to be exchanged. In your own words? Absolutely. I would like to leave here, somewhere more interesting. I really want to exchange, because we are not well maintained here, and complaining, of course, is a sin. Not too good? I don't want to complain. Imagine if you took a rabbit and threw it to the snakes. This is not good. To the cublo to the snakes? Yes. And what does it mean? I'm a traitor. Yes. I am a spy and collaborator, it turns out. Have you passed on information to another party? Yes. What bothers you? In fact, I'm a spy. Do you want to get into legal casuistry? The point is that I was put in a Ukrainian prison. All this time you lived in Ukraine, there are your own laws, everything you did was impossible to do. Right. You were placed with convicted Ukrainians, and not with snakes, is that what you call them? Yes. There. It was just a comparison. You were put in a separate detachment? No. We were all scattered into different squads. As far as I know, you are in the dishonest prison. Yes. Do you have any complaints? Certainly. Do you think it could be different? I know other information. Do you think the dishonest can't have a claim against a collaborator? I don't know. I know. Have you been physically abused? I do not want to talk about it. No. So to speak. Is this between prisoners? There is no pressure from the administration. You see, Ukrainians do not support such actions. I want to go to the Russian Federation through an exchange, because there are also people like me there, they don't have a good time there. Therefore, I don't understand why Ukraine doesn't take its own citizens from the other side. And you think Ukraine doesn't want to take people away? Yes. We want this very much. Just like Russia wants to take me away? I don't remember if I talked about why we were writing the interview. You wrote the document on the exchange. We are writing this down so that you will be exchanged. If I didn't tell you earlier, I might have forgotten. You are already the seventh person today. We want to show them that you worked for them. You are one of their own for them, but they don't abandon theirs. They don't quit. We will show you to them and ask them to exchange you. I'm here, pick me up. We do everything to exchange you. I would like Ukraine to exchange its citizens. I am Ukraine in this case. I am not Ukraine. No need to laugh. How old were you given? Five and two. Yeah, I remembered. We are doing everything to show you to them and exchange you for our citizens. Yes. Take him and give us our man. Yes. Russia doesn't really want to take its prisoners. Well. We have to record a video and call their mothers. I don't see any alternative sources of information. Come on, alternative sources. This is the only information I see here. You are in Ukraine. There is no Russian news here. And it is not necessary. I don't mind not watching it. 
Have you reached out to the other side? Take me away. Exchange me for a citizen of Ukraine who is in captivity.